What's up guys, I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today I'm going to be covering HBAR. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. So just to give a little recap, this was HBAR in my video just five days ago. It was trading at just over seven and a half cents and I had it drawn on a massive falling wedge. I called out the bullish divergence and the fact that price action was bouncing off of the 50 day moving average. Fast forward to the current HBAR chart and price action broke out up to the 21 day moving average. So had you guys taken that trade, you could have made up to 13% gains in three days. And I know that might not sound like a lot, but if you compare that to the stock market where the average return is 10% in a year, then those are actually very nice gains. And if you guys enjoy making gains in the crypto market, I have an opportunity for you guys. I have recently launched a private discord through Patreon. In this discord, I have a trader tier, an exclusive tier, and a VIP tier. The trader tier is for those of you guys that want to see setups very similar to this. For example, I posted an HBAR trade in the discord on January 9th when it was trading at seven and a half cents, and I called out all of the bullish indicators and even the bearish indicator, and then it would be up to you guys whether or not you wanted to take the trade. And in this trade in particular, you could have made up to 16% gains in four days. But then the two higher tiers, the exclusive tier and the VIP tier, these are for those of you guys that want to be closer to me and you want to see what cryptos I'm currently buying, the cryptos I'm selling, the cryptos I'm currently holding, and even the cryptos I'm considering buying. And I will say a lot of the cryptos that I currently hold and the ones I'm considering buying are micro cap gems. These are the kind of projects that are less than 10 million in market cap, meaning they could absolutely explode during the bull market. So if this is something you guys might be interested in, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. It's sitting here in the description. But anyways, now we'll get back into HBAR. So HBAR is currently trading at just under 8 cents. Its market cap is 2.6 billion, which ranks 36th among all cryptocurrencies. And its circulating supply is 33.6 billion out of a max supply of 50 billion, which is just over 67% in circulation. And then HBAR is also currently down 86% from its all-time high that it reached two years ago at 57 cents. But if you guys are looking to invest in HBAR, I recommend using Binance or Coinbase. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But now we'll go ahead and hop into some HBAR news. So this is their Twitter, which has 319,000 followers. And they just recently pinned a new tweet January 15th. We are excited to announce that Hitachi has joined the Hedera Council, bringing with it industrial solutions expertise and the aim to begin creating proof of concepts for end-to-end -end supply chain and sustainability solutions in the next year. And as many of you guys know, one of the biggest reasons I am bullish on Hedera is their governing council. They have some huge names on there including Google, IBM, Deutsche Telekom, Standard Bank, LG, the list goes on. And now they've added another name to that list. And then they just reposted two hours ago. We're excited to announce that Hedera is now integrated with MetaMask via Tomb Technologies Hedera Wallet Snap, connecting the Hedera network to 30 million monthly active users. And that is a huge integration. There are a lot of people out there who use MetaMask, including myself. But now we'll get into some macro news that could affect Hedera's price action, even though it's not directly correlated to Hedera. So this is Watcher Guru's Twitter. And I like what they posted on January 15th, how it started versus how it's going. And it's talking about BlackRock CEO Larry Fink calls Bitcoin an index of money laundering. And now BlackRock has Bitcoin spot ETFs. It is critical that you understand how fast narratives can change. And Larry Fink is also out here saying that Bitcoin is digital gold and bigger than any government. Now, here's what amazes me. So after the Bitcoin spot ETFs got approved, Bitcoin Bitcoin dropped from 47,000 down to 42,000. And there are a lot of people who are panicking. And I genuinely do not understand why. You have to understand BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager in charge of almost $10 trillion of funds. They got a Bitcoin spot ETF approved and the Bitcoin fundamentals have not changed. People are acting like Bitcoin is never going to pump again, which is absolutely amazing to me. Just have a little patience. But now for the final part of this video, we'll get into some technical analysis. So this is HBAR on the daily time frame. And as I said, had you guys taken this initial trade, you could have made up to 16% in four days. But anyways, what am I saying right now? So the RSI and stochastics are both neutral. And now if you look at price action, we swing from a lower low to a higher low. The RSI is higher low to lower low, which is class A bullish divergence, which typically signals a local bottom has been reached. So based on that alone, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a bounce. Now there is an argument that we already got a bounce. And then we got rejected off of the 21 day moving average and that is a possibility but usually with that strong of a class a bullish divergence you get a bigger bounce than that and then if you pull a fibonacci hbar is trading just above the golden pocket but it did actually go beneath the golden pocket several different times now i will also say this falling wedge does have a measured move up to just over 10 cents so there is always a chance that price action does break up to these levels but the one thing that i do not love on hbar is that right now price action is still trading beneath the 21 day and it's actually beneath the 50 day moving average as well that is not really something you want to see so if 
if I was looking to get into H bar, I'd be looking for price action to get back above the 50 day moving average and preferably the 21 day as well. Now, lastly, I'll go over Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. And this is Bitcoin on the daily time frame. Now, Bitcoin's very interesting. So I had initially called out the extreme class A bullish divergence. And then I said, because price action was trading above the 21 day moving average, I wouldn't be surprised if this bull flags measure move still played out, which was 48,800. And that is pretty much exactly what happened. Price action went $50 above the measured move, but then we had a hard rejection and price action fell all the way down to 42,000. And we broke beneath the 21 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. So right now in that regard, Bitcoin is very similar to H bar. I would first be looking for price action to get back above the moving averages. If that doesn't happen or we get a bearish retest, I'd look for more downside. And there is a reality where price action falls all the way down to 38,290. That's the next major support level and it's the next high volume node on the VRVP. But also, as I say in every single one of my videos, macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So just understand crypto is an extremely volatile asset class. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think HBAR will go next bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.